Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Irene with Lifestyle Over 60 and today we're going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of wearing a long pleated midi skirt. In this case it's a crinkled gray midi skirt. So we've got a lot to cover and we're going to just jump right in coming up. So my idea for this video came because I happened to find myself in the Zara pretty recently and this gray crinkle mini skirt called my name and said you must buy me and so I did. I don't know how much of it you can see on camera right now. You're going to be seeing a lot of it in the video to come here. And it's beyond comfortable. I mean, it feels like you're not wearing anything. And I didn't realize it, but you're going to see in the video that it needs a slip because it's not lined. And uh, yeah, and once I had, you know, I was modeling it for you with the light, the bright light, it was, you can see everything. <laughs> so yeah but with a slip this would be fantastic to wear and i'm going to show you how to do it and how and why it looks frumpy and how to unfrump it and how i mean anyone can wear this over 60 you don't have to be super tall or super thin or anything to pull this off i'm going to show you how stay tuned so here's my base that i started with it's just you know this skirt with a white tank and white sneakers. I have a, um, a party to go to that's going to be kind of outside in Malibu in the late afternoon. So thinking, well, I'm going to maybe come up with an outfit for that. So this is my base. Here's an example of this look with something that you maybe would actually wear out so that, you know, you can find like tank tops and different ways to wear them with this look that um, that will work. Depends if it works for you. And yeah, it's slip. <laughs> now, to me, as it is, this doesn't look good at all. I um, mean, just this base. So what I did, and this is kind of fun to do if you ever want for fun, go to Pinterest and check out, you know, whatever you're looking for to style. So, you know, how to style a long gray pleated skirt. And it will give you ideas, not that you need to copy anything exactly, but I'll show you what I mean. So the outfit ideas that go with the long pleated skirt are, tend to come in categories. And one of them is the jean jacket look. And I don't know why, but I think a jean jacket looks frumpy. I know it's supposed to look cool and modern and everything like that, but I think it looks like we're trying to look cool and modern when we wear a jean jacket. I just don't think, I don't know, it looks frumpy. And so here you can see on this scale, it kind of cuts her in the middle and that's like a fashion don't. She really wanted to try to go with the two thirds rule. Do you know the two thirds rule? It's two thirds, one thing, one third, the other. So like you can see here with this gal, she's got two thirds long gray skirt, one third black top. And it looks amazing, doesn't it? This is the two thirds rule. You can do it the other direction. Like here, she's got two thirds white kind of boxy sweater top and one third skirt. So either way, but anything like this jean jacket that cuts you straight in the middle is not gonna look great. Like even here on this older gal, she's got her jean jacket draped over her shoulders. And this is a look with skirts that women do where you drape whatever it is, could be a sweater, in this case, a jean jacket over your shoulders. Seems to balance the look better than if you were to close it. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. But to me, this outfit, she looks like she's wearing from the bottom down, like something dressy. And then from the top up, something completely casual and like as if you could just cut her in two. It, to me, it doesn't look good. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, now here's the same outfit with a more cropped jean jacket. It's better, right? But still, same kind of situation where it looks like she's wearing a dressy outfit on the bottom and a very casual outfit on the top. And that can work, mixing dressy and casual, but in these cases, I don't know, something to me is just. So on me, even closed and cropped in this outfit, I feel frumpy. It cuts me near the middle and the cap adds frump. Plus I'm really busty and with this jacket coming under my bust closed in, it just makes me look huge, I think. 
this one's better just having it open versus closed and this scarf and the hair down even with the cap and everything it still kind of balances it out and the white tennies are just something that i love to wear i always wear them like every day kind of thing so i was really wanted to come up with an outfit that would look decent with the white tennies and the skirt so i don't know i think this is kind of cute the scarf and the hat and then the next category of long midi skirt outfit ideas was the black leather jacket i have a couple of them and so i wore my sort of heavy one for this and again, it's like pairing the heavy material with the slinky, you know, in this case, the slinky skirt with the heavier jacket, which I think can look amazing. I think it can. So here we go. So here we have this black leather jacket with the booty, with the skin showing. Okay, now this is a look that is really popular right now. Um, I'm not a fan of this look. As you can see, here is another one with the uh, skin showing and the booties. Um, and once again, like the same look with the same boots, but maybe if it were knee high, like I think she looks very sleek and gorgeous, but with the skin showing, it just doesn't, it's quote modern, it's hip, it's happening, but I just don't think it looks good. So like the, if you pictured this outfit with a long boot, I think it would look a lot better. So here's my version using the skirt and tank base. I've added knee high black boots and the cropped leather jacket. This would look better with a more cropped jacket than this, but I don't have one. So, you know, because if you want to do the two thirds silhouette, if you have one that comes a little to the, right to the waist with this longest skirt, it would look really good. And here I've added the black Chanel medium flap with silver accents and hoop earrings that I'm wearing now as well. I find, and these are not real, they're, I don't know where I got these, maybe Macy's. Um, I find the hoops to be very versatile. These have little rhinestones in them so that you can use them for dress up if you want. I love them for every day. Okay, and the next look with this skirt and my favorite look is the belted jacket. And I don't know if you've ever done a thing where you analyze your body type, but I highly recommend doing that. I did it recently and I will put a link to Erin Busby. Do you know Erin Busby, Busby Style? She's like us 20 years ago. She's in her 40s, I believe. She's a stylist. She has a lot of great tips. Anyway, she has a great video on how to determine your body type. And so I went ahead and did it. You have to take your measurements and she you know, walks you through. So I found out that I'm an hourglass, which I never thought I was. I kind of thought I was short-waisted and more of a triangle, but now I'm an hourglass. And so that is, will affect how you dress if you know this about yourself. So knowing that, I was like, all right, I don't, before, I did not think I could pull off a belted jacket you know belting a jacket that's already you know like to me that would just add so much bulk and i always feel like i'm kind of heavy and so it's like all right well i'm going to try to recreate this look so i i don't know who she is but she's olivia Culpo. i think she's an actress and i love this look so here's my version of it and now if my skirt was darker and a heavier fabric it would work better but because my skirt is a lot lighter than hers, it's more contrast with the jacket and it would look a lot better. Like I said, if it was a darker, heavier fabric that would more match the jacket, but still. Um, I didn't think I'd pull this off and actually like the way it looks. Even though it's, you kind of, once again, like from the, from the jacket up, it's like a heavier wintry fall outfit and from the waist down, we're looking at summer, but hey. <laughs> I liked it anyway. The thin belt and the pointy toe shoes rock. I don't own either <laughs> of those things. So here's my version. This is my son's gray blazer. It's huge on me, um, but it would work better with a thinner belt and maybe a blazer that wasn't quite so big. This is an example of the one color look to a degree. I don't have gray shoes. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, but it's a great look if you can pull off the one color look. This is not a pleated skirt, but a very sexy example of the belted jacket. I love this look so much. 
Here's another example of the belted jacket. I know that these colors don't work, but I happen to have this navy jacket that's right, the right style um, to go with it. So I just wanted to kind of show you how it might look. Here's a really chic example in light neutrals. I think this is stunning and elegant. I get anxious wearing light colors just because of my lifestyle. So you know, you're always gonna wanna look at your lifestyle first before you try to recreate an outfit or buy something that you think you're gonna wear because you're not likely to wear something that is completely outside of what you're gonna be doing most days, right? All right, the next outfit idea is to go with a contrasting sweater and either cropped or you can roll it or tuck, partial tuck it to give it a cropped look. Black and silver is a classic combination. So here is a sweater that um, on me, I sort of roll <laughs> to make it look a little bit more cropped. Pointy tail heels for dress up look amazing. Oh, you guys, if you know of any comfortable pointy toe shoes, please tell us in the comments. The black turtleneck really works with this. Here in a heavier cotton knit with boots. I'm not a big belt wearer, but it looks so much better than when you don't, you know, at least in my case. I mean, it really ups an outfit belt, so make a pact with you to wear more of them in the future. And so here in a contrasting sweater, but light color, like I said, I don't wear a lot of light colors just because of my lifestyle. And here I'm not violating the three color rule. Do you know the three color rule? Never wear more than three colors at a time. So I've got the white and the gray and the black, and then that's it. So whatever accessories I would throw in with this would need to be one of those three colors in order to not look completely off. Three color rule. And the last look, and actually my favorite of all of them, was the monochrome one color look. I do not have what I need to make that happen with this gray colored skirt. Uh, but I do have a black one, so I might want to show you in a future video about the black skirt and how to style a black pleated midi. This is a longer actual crinkled midi. Uh, yeah, but I do have a shorter black pleated midi that I could do a one color look. But here are some examples of the all one color. Here's gorgeous with the gray sweater and the pointed gray shoes. Once again, the pointy toes. Please tell me a comfortable bear. I think this is gorgeous. And then the same thing here with the over the long coat. She's wearing one color with the gray. And when you put one color together, if it's all black or if it's all white, no matter what, it's very chic, very chic. So, you know, imagine this skirt with a matching, let's just say, gray silky blouse and a, a grayish belt and gray pointy shoes. Um, I think it'd be amazing. So that's it for today on the crinkled midi skirt. It's such a versatile thing to have and to pack. It's lightweight in this case and wouldn't take up a lot of space. And yet, if you can make a lot of outfits with it, it would be great for travel, I believe. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe. Come back and see me. And like I said, you know, let us know in the comments if you know of a fabulous outfit pairing, if you know of comfortable pointy toed shoes. I have yet to find them. Uh, let us know. And that's it for now. Take care. Come back and see me again soon.